Hey guys, it's Project A. Here's another Gwent video. We're gonna go against Hilbert with the Monsters deck this time, I suppose. Maybe it's gonna tell. Let's do whichever one is higher on the list of options. <laughs> so let's get to that point. Okay, it's Monsters. The Monster deck is the third worst in the game. A Witcher who plays a witcher who plays monsters is interesting, is what he said. Okay. I've never seen that line before. I just <laughs> bypassed it on accident. My apologies if you were interested in what was being said. But, uh, one moment. Okay. At last we start. So the monsters deck is very interesting. It's probably the most fun to play. And the hero power is also interesting. Because it guarantees your card draw. So, with Aridin, you toss two cards, and you draw one of your choice from the deck. And naturally, you're always going to pick Mysterious Elf, because it's your only spy. But if you... Say you're going against a class that doesn't have spies, if you're just throwing away your decoys against that class, then you basically gained a spy, where you didn't have one before. Assuming you don't draw it in the first place. Uh, sometimes you just don't wind up using this hero power, but it, it's pretty damn good regardless. Mm, this is also very good. This is similar to the... Well, it, it just is the medic as far as I know. I'm pretty sure you can't revive a decoy. <laughs> it's the medic effect, but it's on your side of the field. Which is not as good as the nilf guard one, because you can't guarantee that you get an extra spy. But most of the time, you will get an extra spy from this. So I guess against Nilfgaard, this is probably better. Since we're playing against Nilfgaard, than this will be. So we might actually use this one. This is the new one. Um, this nerfs the opponent's spies, basically. Since we're playing against Nilfgaard, it could actually be useful. Because it will perk up our melee damage a fair amount with their spies. I still don't think it's that good though. <laughs> it's hard to say, I guess with a horn you're going to be getting like 18 from the nerf card spy and then 36 with the horn, which is pretty ridiculous. So sure, why not, let's try the spy buff, sounds fun. Of course we're still going to be playing decoys to use our own spies, so this might backfire and it might not, who knows. I don't think we need Biting Frost against... Nilfgaard, the reason I w have Biting Frost is because I use the other hero power and half the time I don't need it for anything. So I just use it to draw a card. But we certainly, or almost certainly, don't need it against Nilfgaard in the first place. So I'm gonna toss it for now. Hopefully I remember to put it back in. Oh, never mind, I don't have to do that because this is not a safe file I'm gonna use in the future. And let's get started. So the main thing with Muster is you get three sets of Muster. The three the main thing with monsters is you get three sets of monster units. Muster units. One day I'll say it right. You get three sets of muster units with monsters that are good. There are other muster units available, but they're all terrible, so you don't want to use those ones. Uh you could use the Gondor Diem ones maybe, but it's probably unnecessary. So, the main thing with the first draw is that you have uh, one Vampire, one Arrakis, and one Crone. The Siege Arrakis used to always come out, and now it doesn't for whatever reason. I think it's because they put the Gaunt Redeem card in the game, and now it behaves like that card as a side effect. So the Siege Arrakis is the one you want, but it doesn't functionally matter if you don't have it. It's just like a slight unit buff. <laughs> you could probably remove the Rex from the deck even, but that seems unnecessary, because it would just function the same as Vesemir, which is to say a junk card. Our hand is actually pretty good. Uh, we want to toss a Vampire, because we already have one. And now we actually don't want to toss anything, because our hand is already good. We are probably going to play the Spy. Um, with the Scoia'tael you only have one muster, so you want to play the muster before you play the spy, so you don't accidentally draw more of them. But with monsters, you can't really do that, because you have to be very conservative with how you play your, your big bomb guards, basically. 
so that means you wait. So we shall wait. Um, I would very much like a medic or so which we'll is to say Yennefer, that's our only medic or some decoys to reuse his spies so hopefully we draw some of those. I don't know what I would toss to try to draw one right now, I suppose Vesemir. Okay, we that was a bad pet result. So we were probably going to lose this match, if I had to guess. But maybe not. It's possible the spy buff might actually work to our advantage. Mm, I believe that draw did absolutely nothing for us, so that's nice. We could have forced it a different way. But if you overcommit with monsters, then the opponent will always end their turn quickly. So it's never to your interest to do that. Alright. At this point, I think the smartest thing to do is actually pass, because we already have a 14 on the board. So the opponent has to play a bunch of shit to beat our stuff, or play spies, and then we automatically would take the round because he plays spies. Ideally we would have decoys so we could play our own spies, and benefit from that, but that didn't happen. And now he's continuing to play his shit, I'm not really sure why. Uh, because it's going to take him too many cards. So he, he pretty much negated his own card advantage to get this win. Oh, I really expect him to play a spy there. I'm sh kind of shocked that I didn't do that. And I don't... Oh... He just took a card out of his hand because he revived it. It was a really terrible play because he lost card advantage. Of course, since I'm monsters, it's very hard to retain card advantage for any length of time. But not necessarily impossible. We did lose the previous round, so I have to be somewhat careful. I probably shouldn't have used Dandelion yet, actually. Because we would probably want to use it on the following turn. Not the following turn, the following match. Patch. <laughs> Alright, so now he's gonna pass, I assume. No? Sometimes the AI is obstinate now, or they didn't, never want to pass. I don't really know why. Oh, he might be able to win? Maybe. If he has a commander's horn, he can win. If he doesn't, I'm pretty sure we're gonna win this round. It really depends if he has Geralt or what have you. No, we won't. Yeah, the AI just played shittily there. I don't really know why. We got Dandelion to stick on the board, which is unbelievably lucky. And that probably by itself would have run us the last round. I suppose I should have thought about what his options were at the end there. But oh well. The Karen buffs every unit in its row, but it's also agile, so you can put it in ranged and in melee. So it's actually a very good card. But there you go. Oh, I don't think I expressed myself as well this time. But Monsters is a little bit more intricate as to how you play the cards specifically. So that makes it marginally more challenging to talk about. My apologies if it wasn't informative, but hopefully it was, and I hope you enjoyed the video. I just have one more to go now, but that being squared down, and I'll probably upload these once a day over the course of the next four days, but thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.